Hey everybody, Matt here. And today I'm gonna to take you through one of my all-time favorite discs that I have somehow never done a video on. And that is the Streamline Disc Flare. I throw this disc a whole lot. It's probably my most thrown disc. I carry three in my bag. These are the three in my bag. And then I've got several more in my backup stash. One of the best discs out there. I carry both the Cosmic Neutron and the regular Neutron Plastic. They both got a little bit of swirl. I would say the Cosmic sometimes is a little more overstable, but let me show you why I like this. The Flare is a Speed 9 control driver. Numbers are four, or nine, four, zero, three and a half. So really flat, very overstable. They have an almost identical profile to the opaque 12 time, really hard FAF Firebirds. Now, there's a lot of debate over what FAF stands for. It's uh, flat AF, very, very flat. Some people say flat and firm. They're usually also firm, but that came about later. So we have a very high wing, wedge-like, almost tilt-like bottom wing scooped out, but a slightly blunter edge. So I would actually say that part of the reason that this is nine four zero three and a half instead of zero four like a firebird or something like that they don't stay in the air for most people long enough to get a full four fade and the four and the glide is almost generous they are one of the most controllable overstable while still being really usable discs out there if you ever wanted to try a tilt but knew that was too much disc for you this is the next best thing and can apply for a lot more players so I'll show you a few throws with it and hopefully you get a good feel about what this disc is all about. Now that I've showed the flare on a flat Anheuser and distance flex line, I, got a, I think you got a pretty good idea on how they fly forehand and how I would normally use them. Those forehand shots in between 300 and 380 feet, they can really hit all those lines really well. The ones I threw flat were all in between 310 and 330, get a little Anheuser 340 to 360, and the big flex line, you know, they were 355 to 375. The, one with the sunburst here that one's a little worn in and it was the longest also have an ace with this one so really like that one um, i also use these for backhand skip shots and sometimes spike hyzers if a, it's a good shot shape for it so i'm going to do some backhand skip shots my backhand is much less powerful so i'm doubting we'll get over 300 feet with these but let's give it a look Okay, so my assumption that I wouldn't get these guys over 300 backhand was very correct. They were in between 245 and 275. Once again, the beat-in sunburst one being the longest and the relatively fresh swirly blue one there 
being the shortest. This one's actually pretty lightweight. It's uh, 166, but not much less overstable than a, a max weight fresh one either. So I think that really gives a good overall impression as to why I love this disc so much. They're very consistent. I've never had two flares that felt remarkably different from one another. The only ones that have felt any different at all was they did one run of Proton that they all ended up being lab seconds, which is their X-outs, and uh, they were a little domey, but all the Cosmic Neutron and Neutron ones feel basically exactly the same. The flight on every one that I've had has been remarkably similar. The feel is great, and if you love a really overstable disc that is one of the best in the market, the flare really can't be beat, I don't think. Unfortunately, not a lot available right now. A couple sites have a few for sale, but in normal times, they're 15 bucks or less and usually pretty available. Um, I really think this is one of the best discs that not a whole lot of people are throwing. And in a way, I kind of hope they don't so I can have more. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great week.